what is up youtube and my army family was popping i haven't talked to y'all in so long i would apologize but i don't apologize because you guys should love me for me and watch all my videos not just my army videos but i digress here's another army video and let's go ahead and get right into it so in today's video i will be talking about things you guys should know before going to basic combat training some of these things on this list are some things i wish i knew before leaving for basic training so if you guys want to know those things go ahead and continue watching also you should definitely hit the subscribe button and turn your post notification bell on because i do have some more army related videos coming up really soon sooner than you think and you don't want to miss it I even have a awesome story time it's actually kind of crazy but anyways enough of the chit chat this list is not in any particular order these are just things that I thought were important two things that you should know is the soldier's creed and the army song these are two things that you are going to be saying every morning before you do PT information honestly a tip to memorize them is by writing them down line for line kind of like your mom or dad would make you do when you get in trouble I will not eat at the table 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 a thousand times you can do the same thing for the soldier's creed and the army song and honestly my company at basic training that that's something they would make one of the soldiers do if they couldn't remember it and in the mornings the drill sergeants while you're saying it they'll walk past you and they'll be staring in your face just like that to see if you know it watching your lips so i would highly recommend knowing those two things another important thing is rank you should know rank you should know if you have a staff sergeant as a drill sergeant you should know if you have a sergeant first class as a drill sergeant you should know what a master sergeant is you should know what your command sergeant major's rank is you should know who your captain is all those things you should know honestly it'll help you in the long haul seriously with that being said you should also know if you are talking to an nco you need to be standing at parade rest and if you are talking to an officer you need to be standing at attention if you don't do any of these things you will get in trouble also another thing is sometimes if we were sitting outside cleaning our weapons on the drill pad and our drill sergeant would walk up onto the drill pad then someone it doesn't matter who they they need to say at ease and everyone needs to stand up on your feet it doesn't matter what you're doing what the heck is going on you need to be standing at at ease and if a commander is walking on the drill pad someone it doesn't matter who it is group attention or company attention because you know what if you disrespect higher ups it's not a good look no ranks and know which position to be standing at when talking to someone you should also know preparation drills and conditioning drills for pt with that being said i do have a pt video all about pt video coming up so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out you should already know those things because when it comes down to doing pt you want to know how to do those things also if your recruiting station allows you to do pt during the week i would highly recommend going because not only will you learn the drills you will also be getting healthier and physically fit for basic training something that I regret is not going to PT with my recruiting station only because my recruiting station is in a different city from where my school was and I did not take advantage of working out for basic training that's a whole nother story I made it out without getting recycled thank God you should also know how to eat an MRE really fast now the thing about MREs is that everything is packaged in individual packages there's a heater there's a spoon there's napkins I mean it's really not rocket science I do recommend watching my MRE video because in that video I show you guys the different packages of how an MRE looks like because when I first went to basic training it did, I did not know what an MRE was I didn't know what it looked like and the first day they threw an MRE at us and I did not know how to open it and that's very embarrassing so if you guys want to check out my MRE video please go ahead and do so I guarantee you you won't regret it and it's kind of entertaining if I do say so myself do not go anywhere without a battle buddy and your battle buddy needs to be the same gender as you so if you're female you need a female battle buddy it doesn't matter what female battle buddy it is you just need a battle buddy to go to the bathroom not the bathroom the latrine don't ask to go to the bathroom 
it's the latrine ask to go to the latrine if you have to go to the latrine so everywhere you go you need a battle buddy now if it comes down to it and you're just surrounded by males you can grab two males and then one female or vice versa two females and one male but honestly my company did not allow us to do that i mean it was an option later on down the road but i would recommend always having a female near you just in case you do need to go somewhere or else <laughs> they would do this little game with us well it was actually annoying at the time but now that i think about it i can laugh but they would be like if they seen you walking by yourself they'd be like breathe you're a cockroach so then you have to get on your back and then have your arms and your legs in the air and you're doing this until someone comes and saves you and then sometimes no one would even see you on the ground so you'd just be sitting there waiting and then finally the drill sergeant's like somebody go get that dead cockroach and help her get to where she needs to be something along those lines drill sergeants say a lot of crazy things so don't be offended you should also have a list of your family and friends addresses so that way you can go ahead and start writing them when you first get to basic training instead of you waiting for them to write you first because obviously they don't have your address so the quicker you write them a letter the faster you can receive them I made sure to write letters as often as I could the same time I was getting a letter that same night I would be writing a letter back because I knew every time we did mail call I would be getting a letter back so it's very important that you have those addresses and take writing letters seriously I don't care if the drill sergeants are like lights out you need to be in a bed I would have my flashlight on writing my little letters or during fire guard if you don't know what fire guard is it's basically you and another battle buddy on duty while everyone else is sleeping you're supposed to be cleaning and other things for an hour I would also use that time to write letters to my family and friends just don't get caught because you're not supposed to do that there's a lot of things you're not supposed to do in basic training but people do it anyway because I don't know people are crazy have a box of products ready to be shipped out to wherever you are so say if you like a certain skin cleanser or certain lotion have that ready so once your family members get your address they can go ahead and send that out to you without even asking what you need everything you need will be in that box as for me i did it all wrong i needed shampoo i ran out of my face wash i got sick and needed cough drops i needed some female products that the px didn't have see the px has certain but as for me i mean my hair they didn't have the type of hair gel that my hair needs they didn't have the shampoo and conditioner that my hair needs my parents were able to send me those products but i feel like everything would be so much easier if you just had everything sitting where they are able to access it and can easily ship it off to you without them asking what you need. As long as nothing they're sending is contraband, you're good. And the last thing is your family and friends are thinking of you daily all the time. So if you ever feel discouraged during basic combat training, just think about your family and friends and how they're waiting for you to graduate. Don't give up because graduation is honestly the best day. Maybe family day is the best day. Both of those days are the best day ever because you are getting out of there. That's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it please stay tuned for my future army videos i know a lot of you guys have been asking where are they at where are they at well they're coming okay so go ahead and hit the thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell for more videos and i'll see you guys in my next one